Grenoble, Nebraska. It's a vibrant community in the heartland of America. We're also a retail destination, strong agri-manufacturing. We have success here today and we plan on it for the future. Grand Island has many uh, economic development projects underway. The one that's most exciting for the city right now, I would say, is the extension of the sewer infrastructure down to Interstate 80. We're extending the sewer service outside the city limits for the first time to serve a sewer improvement district. This is a, a really big deal for the city because it's going to allow a great deal of economic development along three miles outside the city limits. As other cities that live on an interstate know, it's important to have a presence on that interstate. It allows the companies to come here and develop. One of the tests many of the national chains use to see whether they want to locate in an area is whether or not there's sanitary service available. Grand Island, Nebraska is a community of pride, great work ethic, people take great pride in their work. That's the strength of Grand Island, but we also build on success. Standard Iron is a privately owned company. Uh, we are a contract manufacturing company, building product for major companies all over the U.S. The city of Grand Island was particularly helpful in locating us here. We have excellent employees here, very good job skills, and we have a location that allows us to be close to a number of our major customers. There's a lot of exciting things going on within downtown Grand Island right now. One of the big projects that we've done recently is the Grand Theater. It has one of the largest installations of vitriolite in North America since the 1950s. That was a huge project that was a reinvestment into the downtown. The look and feel of downtown is really what brings people here. The facade improvement program, the characteristics of downtown, those are things that are very important to the people of Grand Island and the city of Grand Island. The Lincoln Park Pool is one of the key attributes that the city has in that northeast Grand Island neighborhood. It's one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city and the reinvestment there is a huge commitment for the city and a commitment to those older parts of the community. The Lincoln Pool started uh, construction in uh, September of 2012 and completed in May of 2013. On nice days this pool is packed. It's, it's almost at capacity. It's a nice little uh, close local pool where they can walk to uh, and have something to do during the day in the summer months. The Nebraska State Fair located in Grand Island three years ago and we're building on the success of a 140 year tradition. It's a premier event to showcase all the very best there is in our state uh, that rivals any that you'll see across the country. The State Fair has contributed very much towards the economic development of the city of Grand Island. With over 300,000 people coming into the city every year for that three week period, the sales tax represents 38% of our income of this total city budget. There is a core of people here in Grand Island that is very active and very involved. I am a member on the Mayor's Youth Advisory Council and I represent the youth voice in our community. We meet once a month and the community members are encouraged to bring issues in our community to the Mayor and City Administrator to talk about. I think it's uh, great that the city is uh, willing to be as open as they are and uh, take advice and consent uh, from uh, people within the community. And this has been a great way to be involved in, uh, and find out what's really going on and play a part. The Advisory Council is a reflection of people from all walks of life, uh, but they're all there for one purpose. They want to give back, they want to lend their insights and, and thoughts or decisions in the future. The budget methodology that we use here at the City of Grand Island is in short terms what we call budgeting by priority. Budgeting by priorities or by programs takes into account what do you do for those dollars that you spend? What programs or services do they give to the citizens of Grand Island? So the new budget methodology takes into account how much do those services cost the citizens of Grand Island? The city of Grand Island is really known for its can-do attitude. 
whether it was in vying for the move of the State Fair from the capital city of Lincoln to Grand Island, or whether it's been in competition with other local communities for the Veterans Home, we just have this enthusiastic approach to everything, a positive outlook, and a can-do attitude. We're a destination uh, unlike any other time before. 